Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready, because the Lord is coming one day. This is Daniel White the third with the second coming watch update. This is update number 273. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First up today Israeli and French leaders push for new Iran sanctions. According to the Associated Press, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu won pledges from France's president to push harder for new sanctions against Iran to keep it from developing nuclear weapons. But no sympathy for any possible Israeli military strike against Iran. In a visit to Paris, Netanyahu praised French pressure on Iran and called for even tougher sanctions than the ones currently in place. He said the sanctions are taking a bite out of Iran's economy. Unfortunately, they have not stopped the Iranian nuclear program. Second today, Iranian warships leave Sudan after four-day stay. According to Reuters, two Iranian warships left Sudan on Wednesday after a visit that drew attention to the country's military ties less than a week after Khartoum accused Israel of bombing a Sudanese arms factory. Israel accuses the Muslim East African country of channeling weapons to the Gaza Strip, controlled by Iran's ally Hamas via Egypt's Sinai Desert. Two Iranian warships docked in Port Sudan several days after the blast. Sudan said the warships were on a routine visit. Third today, new television and radio network to promote witchcraft and occult teachings. According to the Herald, a new worldwide network that will support new age witchcraft, pagan, and other lifestyles debuted on October the 31st on Halloween. The Illuminati network will feature 24-hour online television and radio channels and will have children's programming for parents who want to educate their children about their lifestyle. The co-founders believe the Illuminati Network will become the hub of of the occult universe worldwide and will ultimately start to change how the general public views such activity. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. You can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. Dear friend, if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, may I encourage you to get to to know him today before it is eternally too late. 
To do so, please understand that you are a sinner, just as I am, and that you have broken God's laws, just as I have. However, in spite of your sins, God still loves you, and he does not want you to be separated from him forever. Romans 5.8 tells us that God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Because Jesus Christ died for your sins, all you have to do is believe in him, trust in him, and receive his free gift of salvation. If you do so, you will not have to suffer eternal punishment in hell, but you will live eternally in heaven with God. Now, dear friend, I want to give you that opportunity to trust Christ today. If you truly believe in your heart that Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, the Lamb of God, who took away the sins of the world, your sins and mine, died on the cross for your sins, was buried, and rose again, and you want to invite him into your heart today, please pray with me this simple, easy prayer. It won't take long. I did it 32 years ago, and my life has not been the same since. Just pray it after me, phrase by phrase. God will hear your prayer. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of all of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. Dear friend, if you just accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, you just trusted in him for your salvation, and you prayed that simple prayer with me and you meant it from your heart, I declare to you that based upon the word of God, you are now saved and you are on your way to heaven. Welcome to the family of God, dear friend. Congratulations on receiving the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. For more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, go to gospellightsociety.com and read what to do after you enter through the door. Jesus Christ said in John 10:9, I am the door by me if any man enter in. He shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. In closing, please remember the words of the Lord. Jesus Christ in Matthew 24, 42, Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew 24, 44 says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Now let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator when he prayed, Even so come. Lord Jesus, God bless you. You got to get your business straight.